Hello, I'm Jody Wolf. You're watching Exposed June 25, 2015 at 12.31 a.m. in Birmingham. This is part two of the previous blog, and uh, I don't really know what to call it, but I'll put a title on it in a moment. But I left off talking about Japan and the earthquake that created the tsunami and then the cost of that. I said between 100 billion and 300 billion. Well, I was close. It's 309 billion as of two months ago, and they're not done. So, the costliest disaster in the history of the world that we know, and uh, and that they'll increase from there. So let's move on, and. Um, but we are seeing a global pestilence right before our eyes is happening, is, is, is coming back, the things we thought were gone. For example, in 1979, the Surgeon General said, we can now close the book on infectious diseases. I think, should this man have lost his job? Because in 1990, these diseases have come back and are far worse than they were before. Millions died in Africa. Millions continue to die. And um, those diseases we thought were gone have come back. Worse today than in 1990. Tuberculosis, TB, eradicated in the late 60s. In 2015, okay, you ready for this? 10 million will die from TB. And we thought it was gone. Michael died from TB in 1958. I remember going to the hospital and see him. He was... He, he had a, like a, a lung machine breathing for him and until he just, until there was nothing there to pump up inside of him anymore. Um, but as I grew up, I had the whooping cough. And um, that was bad until I was at the age of about seven or eight years old. And, and then... It was, it was destroyed and gone forever, according to the experts. Nope. 800 new cases in California. You ready for this? In 2014, 800 cases in California, 2014. Oh, but I, I didn't mention one thing. In the month of December, the whole year, 3,000 400 cases in California alone. Wow. Whooping cough and croup. You may have heard that, but um, they're similar. All the diseases we thought we have defeated have made a comeback and will be worse this time around than it was previous. I had both of these growing up. By the time I was 10 years old, um, I had measles and I had mumps. And uh, I think it's the mumps that leaves the uh, virus in you. It's, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but can pop up at any time. Um, um, oh, heck, I can't. I, I think I, a moment. But anyway, I remember also going to school, grammar school, and there was a girl in metal crutches. You could hear her coming down the hall. Really sounded like a machine. But um, and when we graduated grammar school and in high school, then I didn't see her that four years. And I didn't see her at the 10 year class reunion. But we also had a 15 year class reunion and I saw her at that time although we grew up on two blocks apart you know we just didn't see each other and uh, when I saw her at the 15 year class reunion which was 1984 Woodlong in Birmingham, Alabama 
She was without crutches. She had polio. And even at that age, in grammar school, she was healed of it. Well, guess what? Polio has made a tremendous comeback. And we thought it was long gone for a very long time. So I was thinking to myself, well, maybe he won't say polio's return. Well, then the very next thing out of his mouth is sadly the answer is yes. And uh, with a vengeance, polio has returned. And today they say polio is going to become an epidemic. Warnings are going, going out already worldwide. Um, measles are coming back. Mumps are coming back, as I mentioned a moment ago. Smallpox killed between 300 and 500 million people. Rediscovered again in Asia. And can, it's so bad today, it can become a structured disease to be used as warfare. It's how bad it is. Syphilis. It was gone. It's come back. Bible clearly talks about sexual immorality. And... Um, so the point there is the uh, sexual immorality is on increase. You have John Hagee talks about that a lot with the alarming statistics, man with man, and then married couples cheating on each other. Yes, syphilis is on the upturn sharply. Um, not only have your dreams seem to be fading away, the world is entering the final birth pains right now. She's about to come unglued at the seams. This is this world. Be prepared. Rapture will come before the worst of it will come. And I made a couple extra notes in here. I wasn't expected to, but they... Ran across my mind, so I got them in. And I want to also mention two things. Like you see on TV, this this ER, the things that's hard to diagnose or either a, a disease that they thought was dead a long time ago, they're back. And these people are being diagnosed with these diseases. And it's like the doctors are dumbfounded. You mean, wow, this has been gone and last, at least last for part two. There's some who says when we get to heaven, we'll have a reminder. We'll have a window that we can look through and to hell and see those in hell and see how they're being tortured. See how they never have a breath. It's constant scream. Your soul does not burn up or decay. The worms continue to eat it. And it, in other words, if your fear is spiders like mine is, they'll eat you alive over and over and over for eternity. But it has also been said by many that the fact that you're not before God is worse than hell itself. The fact that you've lost that chance. But I'm going to say one more thing in this. There's not going to be a window in heaven to look back into hell because our desire is peace and safety. Our desire is the life that God wanted us to have. There's not going to be a window. We choose to have that removed from us forever. Praise God for that. Jody Wolf Expose.